Welcome to Shake District, the region of Zanaviki and spectacular views of Namanas River. You will find Shake District in the southwest of Lithuania, near the border to Russia's Kaliningrad, as well as all along the banks of Namunas River. Shake District is just half an hour away from Kaunas, the second largest city in the country, and one and a half hours from the capital Vilnius. The population of Shake District reaches around 26,000 in 2023. Shaki is a part of the historical region of Suvalkia, also known as Suduva, but it has its own ethnographic branch called Zanaviki. This region was one of the wealthiest and most educated in the early 20th century, and this is where the modern Lithuanian language had developed. The center of all this was, of course, the city of Mariampole, of which I talked about in a separate video. However, Shaki district was just as relevant. There is still a lot of cultural heritage in Shaki that can be explored by visiting its numerous manor houses, trying the local cuisine and drinks. One place that is definitely a highlight in Shaki district is Zipele Manor House. It was built in the middle of the 19th century and many of the manor's buildings are still standing. The main house itself is a hotel but it is also open for visitors. The other buildings house a local cultural center, a regional museum and a lovely restaurant. The restaurant Kuch Mistri is well known in Lithuania for its cuisine. The menu here reflects the culinary heritage of Lithuanian nobles and most of the produce is sourced locally. The menu changes throughout the seasons as well. There are many options for degustation dinners, ranging from intimate dining for couples to nobles feast experiences for larger groups. But even on a regular day, Koch Mystery is a great place for a meal. During my trip, I enjoyed a light lunch with my son. There is more to learn about Shake and Zanavike regions in the museum, which is located in another building of the manor. Zanaviki Museum has a large ethnographic collection that shows the daily life of the region in the old days. It also highlights the differences between Zanaviki and Suvalkiachi. There is also an interactive and modern exhibition at the Artisan House. That, of course, was my son's favorite part of the museum. Overall, the play manor provides a good glimpse into the local culture and customs. But there is much more to see in the district. Shaki is a region with a very minimum transit traffic. There are no major regional roads here, but it is known for its route by the river Namunas, which is a continuation of a scenic route in Panemune Regional Park that I have talked about in the video about Yurbarkas district. In the summer, this route is especially enjoyed by motorcyclists. There are two river crossings in the entire district. One is located in Yurbarka city, which boasts the longest automobile bridge in the country. The other crossing is near Konas in Vilkia town, where a seasonal ferry operates. The ferry becomes particularly popular during the summer weekends. So the riverside road trip can start from any of these locations or by coming from Konas by road. If you come from Yurbarkas, it's best to visit Sudargas Hillforts first which is probably the main highlight of this route on Shakey's side. Sudarga's hill forts are situated on the bank of Namunas River, near the border with Kaliningrad. Unfortunately, that is why I was not able to fly the drone here. But the place is amazing. There are five hill forts along the river and each has quite a climb. This was my first time coming here, but I've heard so many praises from others who have traveled here. People often compare other hill forts to Sudarga's complex. There are many walking routes available and one could easily spend a few hours enjoying the nature here. One of the hill forts has a campsite and playgrounds for relaxation, but the tallest one is much more serious. This used to be a Jewish cemetery dating back to the 18th and the 19th centuries. Some of the tombstones still remain, although the hill forts were extensively used as trenches during the Second World War. This hill fort today probably has the best use of the surrounding river valley, and it is lovely to take a walk around. There is another place of interest at the other end of the hill forts. It is a sculpture dedicated to the writer Jerome David Salinger and one of his most famous works, The Catcher in the Rye. 
The statue has a perfect backdrop, but it was also built here for another reason. Salinger's family was from Sudargas. Let's go along the riverside to our next destination, Kedulei town, which is located just across the bridge from Yurburkas. There is a small 19th century manor house here, which is a cultural center today. The town also has a winery, which is quite unusual in Lithuania. However, Kedulei winery does not produce your typical wine. Instead, we specialize in crafting wines made from a variety of berries and herbs, such as black currants, cherries, gooseberries, and even unusual herbs like nettles. One of their most famous wine is made from dandelions. Next on the way by the river is Gelgo Dishkis Manor. This is one of those manors that is currently undergoing renovation, but is open for exploration. Gelgo Dishkis Manor stands on a hill right across the river from Panemune Castle, which can be seen from the manor. Gilgodishkis Manor was built in the middle of the 19th century in the neoclassical secession style. Later, its purpose has changed multiple times, from an orphanage to a war hospital, school, and more. Today, the house has been mostly renovated, featuring large and spacious rooms. It serves as a venue for various cultural events and educational programs for large groups. It is fun to climb to the rooftop, which passes through a raw-looking attic that is still awaiting renovation. But the spiral stairs are authentic and there is also a small charming rooftop terrace. The manor has a beautiful park surrounding it and even a cognitive trail through the nearby forest. From here, we go to the next town along the river, Plokšče, which has one unusual place. It is a river road. The houses along the river can only be accessed by walking by the river or driving through the river itself. The shallow waters with a pebble-filled riverbed make it quite a decent road. Anyway, for pedestrians, there is a sidewalk along with a small art gallery. It is lovely for a short casual walk, but for those who prefer a longer route, there is a 3.5 km long cognitive trail that takes you around the forest and the village. Next along the way is another hill fort. This river valley is abundant with them from both sides. In the Middle Ages, this region witnessed numerous fierce battles between the Crusaders and the Lithuanians. Jamoi Panemune hill fort looks tall and spectacular, which can be quite intimidating. It is impressive to see how high you have to climb, especially after a long day of sightseeing but the views of the valley from the top are very rewarding. This marks the end of the riverside attractions in Shake district. From here, there are a few options to continue. Taking the ferry in Vilkia, continuing along the riverside road to Kona's district, or heading up the hill to Lekechi. Lekechi is a small town surrounded by large forests, which I have known very well since childhood. This is where my family would go mushroom foraging every year. It is still a very popular place to look for mushrooms and every autumn you'll find plenty of cars parked by the road in the area. In July, these forests are also filled with European blueberries. But what can you do while traveling through there? Well, one place to enjoy the beautiful forest is the forest walking trail. However, it is not well marked anymore. Perhaps there will be a renovation soon? But the main attraction of the path can be easily reached, even by car. It's the Big Water Spring. It is a popular spot among locals for collecting fresh drinking water and it was definitely worth filling up my bottle too. And the forest surrounding this place looked magical. Inside Lekechi there is also a beautiful park with ponds and sculptures. It blends in with the grounds of Paliekis Manor. Although the house is not open to the public, it is only used for private events. Overall, Shaki district was larger than I had expected, and I spent quite a lot of time traveling through all those interesting places. One of my favorite places was Ziplay Manor, a perfect blend of tradition, history and modernity, all in one place that is easily accessible. On the other hand, the trip along the Namunas River provided perspective and a deeper connection to the region and its history. It's a beautiful corner of Lithuania, easily reached from Konas, so I will definitely return here again. 
See you in Shagay and thanks for watching.